about to pick up that free snapper snowblower unless somebody else got to it which they shouldn't have ah, I see it yep I see her she's a little uh, older but you know what it runs and it's got a Tecumseh it's got an 8 horsepower Tecumseh so either way the ride was worth 150 bucks and also does I know for a fact those um, uh, what do you call them them augers I know when I need when I wanted to replace one they were like 45 50 bucks a pop used okay so there you go that's 250 right there it's the older one like my, this mine right and this is an old a slightly older version of it this would be like a late 80s where mine is an 02 or an 03 this was the beginning of the this version it's just like it it's just older I'll tell you the year right now. Same engine too, same eight horsepower HM80 engine with a serial number of eight. And that means it was built in 1988. And, yep, it's got a beautiful shut off valve. You hear that compression? Cause that's Tecumseh, baby. That's Tecumseh. It's got the nice plastic chute. It's missing, nope, it's got it on this side. I don't know why it has two of them. That's weird. Mine doesn't have it like that. Even the chute, this chute, when they crack, if you need one of these chutes, you're talking money right there. It's got the standard, um, back then they didn't use, because they just, the technology wasn't out yet for the, um, for the, um, what do you call it, whatchamacallit, the, um, the snow hogs, they didn't come out until, well, 8, 88, yeah, they would have been out, that would have been like a switch over year, so, 89, 90, they would have had snow hogs. But, you know, whatever. These are good tires. They hold air. Oh, like I said, these augers right here, you're talking like 50 bucks a piece. The scraper blade, I can see is worn down pretty good. Even that impeller. If that impeller gets bent up, those are... Th I forget exactly how much they are, but they're not cheap either. This bucket. I've seen people try to sell these entire buckets because these get warped up. It's got a good pair of snapper skid shoes. I have a snapper. I could use those. What else? It's Well, it's probably got an extra spare of belts for me. What's different about it? Mine, the shifter has more of a big long handle versus this round uh, knob thing. Otherwise, yeah, basically same thing. Same deal, same deal. Uh, this is when they were still using these chain link thingies. It's a model number, 8261. So, 8 horsepower, 26, and Series 1. They had earlier series because they had ones with short shoots. So, I think they had a Series 0, which is weird. Snapper did things weird, but they went all the way to Series 6 because mine's a Series 6. And mine's the final series, and mine is the final year of production. This gas cap's no good. That's okay though. There's some hair right here. I have a million Tecumseh gas caps. These older ones, that's what happens. The metal piece that holds this in place breaks off and then it falls down in there. And what happens is once that happens, the gas tank won't vent and then it won't run. It'll run for like 30 seconds and die. And you'll be like, why isn't my, why won't my engine run? And all it is is the gas cap. So if you got one of these Tecumseh engines, and your gas cap is broken, they sell an upgraded one where there's a rubber plunger inside of here instead that doesn't break. Go ahead and get your gas cap. They're not expensive. I, I even got one at C, in stock in Sears for like five bucks. This is not the standard Tecumseh key, but it works, whatever. It's probably an upgraded style. Even this cover right here. These covers go for 40 bucks, but that makes the engine complete. So obviously I'm not gonna sell that. But uh, I guarantee you, I bet you no one's here. You wanna see if it'll run real quick while I'm here, just for the hell of it? Why not? One, two, three. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at Alright, from what I can tell, it's racing. The carburetor linkage needs a little uh, attention, but it runs. 
if I really wanted to, I could drive it up the truck. But there you go. That's an 88, and you know what? Buy a, buy a snowblower now. Okay, 88. I'm 36, 85. 87's 33, 88, 32. Buy a snowblower now and see what condition it's in when it's 32. It won't be. Eat these handle grips. Usually all these little earwigs are worn off. They're not. Somebody's laughing because I'm over here giving them the old tour. Hi, how you doing? You're on film. I'm just giving the old tour. Let me unlock it. Buy a snowblower now and see how it looks in 32 years. It won't. I guarantee it. For real. Buy one of them um, Troy Bilts at Home Depot right now. One of them $900 um, snowblowers thousand dollar snowblowers see where it is in 32 years i'll guarantee you after about 15 years it'll already be heading to the scrap yard no doubt about it all right i'm gonna go ahead and get her up on there but like even this gearbox that's an aluminum gearbox he doesn't have a real shear bolt on this side but that's okay is it bent? Yeah, this one's bent a little bit, but they bend back. Oh, the weld broke on this one. That's no big deal. See, that's why I need to be able to weld. See, so this way I would be able to weld this back. That's the only thing I can't do on a machine is weld. Once I can learn to weld, I've got it licked. I've got everything licked. But that's no big deal. I have, I'll take it off and have my buddy weld it, or I'll just bring it over and have him weld it back. It's, it broke off. It probably hit something because he's got a real bolt in there but other than that and that's that's an easy fix because that's just a weld that snapped but like i said go to the store buy a snowblower and see where it is in 32 years it won't be in existence it'll be uh aluminum can